on the subscribe button, especially the bell on the right side. Otherwise, you will miss the latest videos. Many books, if you keep on reading the Puranas, you will find our gods. Okay, how many avatars has Lord Brahma taken? Incarnations on earth. Can somebody answer? There are 250 people present here. Okay. Sir. No incarnation of Brahma. The rishis were some of the rishis were incarnations. Can you hear me? No incarnation of Lord Brahma. No, there is no incarnation of Lord Brahma. He was like a curse for something which he did, and there is only one temple in the whole of the world. For him, and that is in Pushka. Uh, no, there is one in Goa also. also. It is not there are at least five so, Brahma so, temples all so, over India. Yes. One next to Kashi Vishwanath also. Vishnu, Lord Vishnu has taken Okay. This is the incarnations of gods in Ramayana. Spelling is really bad. Ramayana spelling itself is bad. Okay, I'm sorry about it. Lord Brahma incarnated as Jambu. This is the list. Lord Indra is Bali. Lord Surya is Sugriva. Can you all hear me? Lord Kubera as Gondamadan. Lord Vishwakarma, again spelling mistake here, as Nal. Lord Agni as Neela. Lord Ashini Kumar as Moinda and Dvidid. These two, Moinda and Dvidid, if I remember well, are uh, two of the eight people who have immortality, like Ashwatthama and all that, and Hanuman. Lord Varun as monkey. Okay, so and so Sushen or something. So you, you all are seeing, we do not know what I was trying to say. In between major incarnations, okay, in between major incarnations, okay, God keeps on taking birth. We do not know. I restrict myself on Sri Ram's chart. It's not my favorite chart. Okay, now look at it from the point of view. What was the cause of his birth? What was the cause of his birth? And I'll be back in five minutes. So, that's what I said. Why did I take the example of Lord Brahma? So, we don't come to know. In the case of Ramayana, we came to know Lord Brahma has taken birth as Jambu. Okay. But many times gods take birth. In some scriptures, it might be written, or it might not be written, or people don't come to know. Are you getting, like, for example, Lord Shiva taking avatars or coming down on earth? We don't know. We only feel Lord Vishnu is taking avatar. But it's not like that. If you go to different, different places, like one place I visited with. 
ललित की डैड प्लेस लॉर्ड शिवा हस्पाल एंड इट्स द ओनली प्लेस इन इंडिया आई वॉज टोल्ड वेरी ह्यूज टेम्पल वेर देर इज दॉट यू कॉल द पद द फीट ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा इन वेरी ह्यूज टेम्पल बट इन वन कॉर्नर इज अ वेरी स्मॉल टेम्पल वेर the actual feet of lord shiva preserved i have taken photograph i think i pushed, put it in facebook many years back two years back or three years back three years back i traveled when i was doing stop the snanam and that seven temples in a day uh, that uh, shankara acharya said that once in lifetime you are supposed to do it there are two seven temples stop the snanam stop the vidanda Satyanarayan is there. He would agree on that. Ma Pirvir has mentioned that. So many places are there. So we don't come from when and where. But it doesn't mean that is the only technique for find, finding the previous birth luck. As I said earlier, also when I took the case of Shanti Devi, Puran Singh, and all that, why did I give those birth details? You'll find that Lagna is not the previous luck. they are just remembering one birth which is relevant to this birth example okay what we need to understand is some birth a particular portion is relevant of some previous life if you take nadi devi okay you will get one portion of your life as a dominant portion as a significant portion but that need not be the complete life your life is an amalgamation of many births previous lives so that is the reason many of you would have observed every 7 years your whole life changes path you might be carrying the same job but you will get a complete new set of friends new set of contacts every odd years 3 5 7 has anybody observed this yes sir we know here only we know this observed nobody else i have also observed very good see there is something called group karma okay i'll come to that when i explain karma okay most people okay i'll just quickly say it in one line most people function in a group and that group is usually somewhere around let's say 10000 in your whole life you will see there will be around 10000 people which will come and go come and go come in each one will play their part story is over lesson is learned or not learned and they are gone you always move in group karma you dispositors dispositor we have to take we were last said mars correct yes or no everybody with me yes yes your audio is cutting off My audio is getting off. And now it is okay. Now is this audio better? Now is this audio better? Now is yes. Audio better? But there is an echo. This is better, sir. Is this audio better now? Yes. Yeah, this is better. Yes, yes. Clear. Okay, let me increase the volume. Good, I have a backup. How do I increase the volume? Or put it down. So Mars, observe Mars is in the seventh house. What did I say last time? i said do not let go of the do not change the luck correct yes do not change the luck i said okay now very important once upon a time there were gods and there were demons the gods and demons had a fight okay 
Ricardo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. The gods and demons had a fight. They had a fight. And what happened? The wife of Brigurishi was supposedly kidnapped. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But actually, she gave refuge. She gave refuge to the demons. And this angered Lord Vishnu. I have highlighted it here. Can we all read this? Yes. Uh, Neeraj? Yes, we can see it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is some. Uh, sir, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. There are some people in the waiting room. Then I'll go under the window. Sir, I have put waiting room in the camera off. That's why. ये इसमें से एक दो तो हमें हमारे स्टूडेंट से पहले किया तो क्यों ऐसा कर रहे सर वो अभी आए हूं मैं देखता हूं कौन जी एवरीबॉडी प्लीज कीप योर कैमरा ऑन ओके सो कैन यू ऑल सी दिस इज फ्रॉम पेज नंबर 130 of Rao Saab's book. Okay? Hello? Yes, sir. We can see you. Can, can you hear me also? Yeah, yeah. You are audible, sir. Can you all hear me? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Sir, we can hear you, sir. Hello. Oh, let me call, sir. Can you can you all hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, great. Sorry, the net is playing up. Okay. Hello. अभी अभी बेटर है ओके सो फाइनली व्हाट हैपेंस इज लॉर्ड विष्णु takes his sudarshan chakra hand jemina the wife of brigurish got it yes sir now go back to jemina and ketu ketu is headless are you getting it Yes, sir. Are you are you getting now? Yes, yes. An action done out of free will in the previous jarma, you can say, or avatar, you can say, or whatever you want to say. Got it? Everybody. Yes, sir. We are seeing the beauty of it. Yes. So Lord Brigu, Rishi Brigu, curses Vishnu. How is the curse playing out? How is the curse playing out? He curses him that you will be separated, like how I am separated from my wife. Yes. 
getting it and the cause is rahu ketu always rahu ketu in past life astrology cannot be ignored in my 25th lecture i will show you even if you don't have the correct birth time how beautifully you can use rahu ketu like for example narendra modi horoscope libra lagna scorpio lagna okay astrologers will keep on fighting throughout their lives but when narendra modi goes and shows his horoscope to an astrologer he shows with libra lagna forget it does not matter we don't know the birth time 24 hour this thing rahu and ketu will not change rahu and ketu will not change and still you can make out why this person is born from all the nine planets it has to come to the same story why this person is born cause of birth some planets will tell some techniques will tell just the rashi chart in shiram's chart your saturn is karaka of karma correct saturn is karaka of karma so saturn is also kal correct it is also kal okay yeah. so it has to show both karma and kal and also what you are supposed to do now what you are supposed to do now in this janma in this life correct everyone yes sir yes sir <clears throat> so what you do take shri ram swarupur understand where the story will start and where it will end where the story will start where it will end you also need to understand the 14 year rule which i wrote about in one of my editorials the punch of saturn it's a 14 year gap the event that happens today after 14 years similar events will happen i had given two example charts exactly same somebody took a dip in ganges today 14 years later again because it was connected with ganges in his horoscope ganges in sense holy river holy dip so forget that 14 year that was my observation I have written it in one of the editorials. Okay. Most important, most important is what is understanding which sign, which house it is, and then combine. Saturn in Sri Ram's horoscope where it is most important is it is retrograde. It is exalted in fourth house. So the story will start with the mother who is like a servant, but an exalted servant. What is exalted servant? Royal queen, but was a servant earlier. I think Kai Kai was that. Am I right or wrong? Yes sir. No. Yes sir. And the story starts for the fourth house throne also. Fourth house is throne. Fourth house is throne. So as soon as he was about to get the Raj Abhishek ceremony done, okay, this happens in his life. The mother asks for the boon that she was given. Are you understanding? Yes. Any planet? Okay, I'll not show pending karma now. Forget it. I'll show it in the other class. Okay, let's stick to Saturn. So now you combine fourth house. Next job, the sign. What is the sign? Libra. Libra is the sign of balance. The balance was disrupted here. Retrograde Saturn. Most people commit the mistake of not taking Saturn as retrograde. It is retrograde. Remember, it is eighth, eighth from Sun. 
five to nine is where the retrogression axis is. The outer bigger planet. The inner planets will be near sun when they get retrograde. Understanding? So it is Libra. Libra means in the natural zodiac, seventh house of Patani. Getting it? Saturn is all about dharma. Is about establishing ek patni dharma. Especially in this case, Saturn will aspect Sagittarius. Dharma. Easy? Yes, sir. So his dharma was to establish a patni dharma. That is the reason Lord Krishna is not called Maryada Purushottam. Sri Ram is called Maryada Purushottam. Are you all understanding? Yes, yes sir. sir. So all this is very, 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 very important. In any horoscope, whenever I've told it in my previous lectures also, whenever Saturn aspects Jupiter, Jupiter or Jupiter aspects Saturn, or both of them aspecting each other or conjunct, it gives great uh, high level of karma. And you are tested in your dharma. It doesn't mean I have seen stupid arguments here in the same logic. People will say, oh, so and so famous actor, so and so famous politician or celebrity have, does not have Saturn and Jupiter link. But yet they are famous. There are thousands of horoscopes, thousands of combinations for being famous. But educated people talk like this. What was, we all make mistakes, all of us, including in our thinking many a times. It's a false awesome. But in the natural zodiac, one is the lord of ninth, one is the lord of tenth. In Meshalagna, natural Kal Purush Kundi, one is the lord of ninth and one is the lord of tenth. So it is Dharma Karma Adi Pati Yoga. So here, Saturn is aspecting Jupiter. Right, tenth aspect. And Jupiter sitting in Karka Lagna invariably influences fourth bhav. Why it is Karka? BSP number 1450. So that hidden link is there. Hidden link is there. The Gaj Yogi is coming right here. So story started there. Fourth house is also Gharwali. Gharwali. Are you understanding? Fourth house is your wife, is your spouse. It starts, Sri Ram's journey starts with the throne, starts with the mother and ends with the wife. That's it. That's it. Even his fight with his own children, I have not been given that much of importance. Are you all understanding? Yes. When we come yes. to ending karma, which I have revealed in my editorial 13, 14 years back, 2008, so that's around 14 years back, I have shown for the first time how to see pending dharma? We all keep on saying astrology is all about pending dharma. But how to see the pending dharma? There are many methods. One very powerful method I have seen, which later A.V. Sundaram also propagated. But that was shown by us, the late A.V. Sundaram. Anyway, The second major rule in understanding why you are born. We are now all talking about past life astrology only. 
It's a part of past life astrology. As I said at the start of this lecture, past life astrology is not just, you know, finding the story. It is finding the reasons and everything. Are you getting it, everybody? Yes, sir. Here, at 12 o'clock, at 12 at least uh, <laughs> encourage me <laughs> to be awake, yeah. Yes, sir. Or if everybody is tired, we can time, yeah. If everybody is tired. No, 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 sir. No, Please no, no, sir. Everybody sir. are awake. <laughs> Not all can unmute at the moment. Sri Ram's horoscope is the first horoscope you are taught when you start astrology. Everything is there in Sri Ram's horoscope. As per tradition, the first horoscope is Sri Ram's People have written round 4,000, 6,000. Okay, I'll give you another horoscope. One second. We'll take that Saturn thing and usko pakka karte. Usko pakka karte, tabhi aap logo samaj mein hai. Ki kitna wada technique. Matma Gandhi. Where is Saturn? Libra Lagno, Saturn in Scorpio, second. Correct? Uh, chart is it not is yet visible. It is to 10,000. Okay. Now? Yes, yes. Now we can see. Is it Yes. It is Yogkarat. That means it will become the source of the horoscope. Correct? Correct. Now, Saturn is in Scorpio transformation. In second house of administration. So transformation of administration. Transformation of money. Second house is money. Transformation of food. Transformation of family. The whole of India became his family. And then it progressed to whole of humanity. Is that It is Trikon to sixth house. An eighth from Jupiter. Hence his weapon became food. Are you getting it? Britishers kuch bhi karega, ye jake khana bina ban karte ga. Sab ka baat lag ga, pura India ka udar Queen Elizabeth is ka, uska sab ka baat lag ga. Could you all think at that point of time somebody can do something like this? No, sir. No, sir. Gutno pe, gutno pe gira. Britishers with all their intelligence, all their education, all their history of warfare, etc., and all that could never end sage. A bald guy, even I'm bald by the way, <laughs> a bald guy can do this. It is looking now, look at the aspects. It is forget the aspects, go back for them. It is in which sign Scorpio. Scorpio Lord is two. Mars. Mars is Dharti, homeland. Second co-lord is Ketu, sitting in the fourth house. Homeland. Ketu is splitting. Is splitting. Are you getting it? Ketu is splitting. So it split the homeland from Britishers. Ketu is Christians, Ketu is sick people, S I K H. With turbans. Kendra Rav writes turbans. It is turbans. So he separated the Christians, the Britishers, 
from the homeland. And it is sitting in Capricorn. That's where your karma is. Where is Capricorn in Sri Ram? Sorry, I have given a technique. But I have my blank chart predictions. Of course, I've got this technique. Where is Capricorn Sri Ram's horoscope? Seventh house. His karma was there. He faced his greatest test when it came to Sita. The story started with Sita. Abduction of Sita, right? Sir, even if you look at the Saturn's uh, Naumansha, Saturn is in the Capricorn Naumansha. So again, uh, that fourth house uh, gets re-emphasized in the Naumansha as well. Very nicely, very nicely, if you see Sita, let me go back. Sita, who was Sita? Sita was Vedavati in previous Janma. She was the daughter of the son of Brihaspati, Jupiter. Ravan saw Vedavati, he was very impressed by her beauty and wanted to marry. She refused because she wanted to marry Vishnu. Then she said, finally, what my father is? Father refused. Ravan killed the father, the son of Prihaspati. The then what happens? Uh, Sita's mother commits Sati. Then he catches the hair of Vedavati. He catches the hair of Vedavati and pulls. At that time, Sita curses him and cuts off the hair. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. She curses him that she would be reborn and would become a large children. The end of the book. Can you see this now? Can you see this? It's loading. It's visible now. Yeah, it's visible. So I can read this. See the Mars element. In the seventh house, Mars is exalted. And if I remember well, when she uh, asked at the end of the whole Agni Pariksha, she asked Dhatima to take her. Correct? And Raja Janak found her on earth. So in Satyuga, what Rao surprised. In Satyuga, she was Vedavati. In Treta, she became Sita. And this is from Adhyatma Raman. How many of you have read Adhyatma Raman? Nobody. Hello. What's up? Nobody has read Adhyatma Rama. I finished Adhyatma Rama in 2010. Every day I should do Parayan of Adhyatma Rama. If you read that Rama, both normal Rama and Adhyatma Rama are written by Valmiki. You will find so many differences in the story. The very first chapter, Ravan decides. उसने अभी बहुत खराब खराब कर्म कर दिए ये संगीता सर कैन यू रिपीट द कैन यू रिपीट द जुपिटर एंड सैटर्न 
uh, aspects and you know the high level of karma you said that so is it when jupiter aspects saturn or when saturn aspects jupiter both both either way okay. and both and both are conjunct it is more stronger obviously okay my husband has that in the 8th house <laughs> karma yeah his husband your money husband's in laws everything will be very very important in his life yeah he was very close to my father yeah and my Somebody jupiter died. aspects of yeah. saturn in 12 so that i don't know we have some i always felt that i had some connection with him from past life yeah my jupiter also aspects my venus so i have very strong connection with my wife okay but in this life it looks like i have to go by his rules and then my life is peaceful <laughs> same is the case but is the case in every life ek ko jhukna padta hai ek bada rahega one person will be elder as it is said in the movie lame kisi ek ko to bada hona hi padta hai umar mein aur kai jin aur kai and kai jin yeah so marriage or any kind of union is always accepting the other yeah and it's a difficult job it's a very difficult job yeah I guess then you don't. If you understand this principle, then you don't need Jyotish, do you? <laughs> exactly, Jyotish is not needed. Yeah. I always tell people. People say, please do a reading, psychological reading, and all that. Okay. I say, why do you require that? Just look into the mirror. That's it. Keep on looking into the mirror. After five, six times, you'll get the yeah. truth. Yeah. You just need is... to know how to. Correct. You just need to know how to read it, and look the truth, unbiased, unbiased. Or I don't or, like or, doing that. Only we have to do. Yeah, I call up. You want to know your pending karma or the flaws to correct? How to use past life astrology? Call up your worst enemy, two, three worst enemies. Ask them what are the good points in your life and bad points in your life. They'll tell you the whole truth. You don't need to go to a counselor for that. I always tell people, or you need to be objective. Correct. So. The real spirituality is you take you understand what your pending karma. Then bow down, then bow down, and go. Proceed with your life like that. Accept everything as it's very difficult, easy for me to say, but I keep on, keep on doing it. At least. Once in ten attempts, I keep on. It's a very tough job, but if all my efforts in astrology, I can't do it. Then what's the use? I at least ten start. Do it. So one attempt to do. Do something. Uh, what I have learned, implement it. Am I making sense? If I do it hundred thousand times, then out of the ten, I might do two. Are you getting it? Yes. But at the end of my life, I might make it three. But it's a progress, not compared to others. Compared to what I was without extra. Whether somebody understands me or not, my relatives understand me or not, I am an outcast among my relatives because being a Christian, I am doing all this. Okay. So it is okay. I don't require anybody's badge, certificate. You are born alone. You will die alone. Simple truth of life. The health sufferings that the mental sufferings, the health sufferings that will happen will be yours only. Nobody can share it. Nobody can bear your pain. Simple truth of life. I <laughs> don't feel that is a <laughs> the brief thing that you are asking. How that is a very big story. I think. Yeah. 
चलो सब दे आई विल आई शुड नॉट आइडेंटिफाई बी शॉर्ट इन बट सम टाइम मेबी इन दिस कोर्स ऑफ आई फील ब्लेस्ड एंड रियली ऑनर्ड यू नो फॉर व्हाट एवर आई हैव लर्न दैट कैन नॉट बी फाउंड इन बुक्स or even after going to great guru to cut back it so the point what i'm trying to say is sangeeta ji is asking for another chart example is saturn so let us take mahatma gandhi saturn clear he shows where is karma are you getting it या मीरा श्रीवास्तव आई टेक नरेंद्र मोदी शार्ट नेक्स्ट नाउ लेट अस क्विकली टेक इफ पीपल आर नॉट टायर्ड लेट अस क्विकली टेक नरेंद्र मोदी सैटन इज इन द इलेवेंथ हाउस ऑफ डिजायर अलॉन्ग विथ अ डिजायर प्लैनेट वीनस एंड इट इज सिटिंग इन दादक हाउस Correct. In a sign, Saturn is Mars's. It is sitting in Badak House. In a sign of government, power, natural fifth house, fifth house, natural fifth house. It is called Rajya Bishekam, seat of power. Fifth house is seat of power, and it is royal sign. Sun government. It is in twelfth house. Sun is in twelfth house. So, see how beautifully this Saturn shows masses and government linkage. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. All this Saturn is aspecting Lagna and again the fifth house. Again the fifth house. It has Jupiter retrograde. He will once fall from grace. His own guru will not get the seat of power. Jupiter retrograde in the fifth house in Aquarius. Aquarius is a badak sign, natural badak or natural zodiac. Mars moon, Mars moon shows he was chival. Why? Mars is hot, moon is milk. Correct. Mars is hot, moon is milk. Aspected by Rahu. Rahu. Shows tea or coffee. Everybody knows. Kain Rao's Rahu is in the sixth aspect in the second. He is addicted to tea. Addicted to tea. Makes sense, guys. Yes sir. Yes or no? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yeah. Any questions before we wind up? In next class, I teach which are the past life houses. अभी दिमाग में आया कि जब आपने बोला कि हमें ट्वेल्थ हाउस को लेकर देखना चाहिए तो प्लैनेट्स को भी हमें उसी हिसाब से अरेंज करना है जैसे कि वो एज फॉर ट्वेल्थ हाउस वी गोइंग टू अरेंज द प्लैनेट्स आल्सो फॉर द ओके दैट्स दैट वाज माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एवरीबॉडी एल्स सपोज देयर आर नो प्लैनेट्स इन द ट्वेल्थ देन व्हाट डू वी देन लॉर्ड एग्जैक्टली बिफोर द लॉर्ड इज द साइन जैसा वो खुश दीप था उन्होंने एक लग्न बोला कौन सा लग्न बोला उन्होंने मेष लग्न 
तो हमने पाइसिस लिया पाइसिस से आपको दस चीज बोलना चाहिए पाइसिस से आपको बोलना चाहिए कि भाई आपके सास जो है सास मीन्स मदर इन लॉ मदर इन लॉ विल बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर इन वन लाइफ ऑफ मेशन One of my friends, he has mentioned that mother-in-law is so important that he has sidelined his own mother. Sidelined his own mother. Jupiter retrograde in this case, so that adds to the you. One is the you always understand the basic you, then the planets, the position, placement, avastha, etc., vargas of the planet will either confirm the you and add to it, give it support, make it stronger, or will negate. Which is where the tough part. Everybody got that. Any other yes, question? Sir. Any other question, ma'am, or anybody else? Just uh, allow everybody to unmute here. So, like, if you are binding up there. Allow to in, done. Allow in the classes to come. I will be using a lot of Edgar Casey material. Let us understand. Edgar Casey was one of the finest predictors. In the last thousands of years, I hope everybody knows the greatness of it. That is, even K. N. Rao has said that, and he was the only guy who brought out the concept of Akashic records. He used to predict from Akashic records. Yes, Parma, Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet. He was a devout Christian. He used to teach Bible in Sunday school. Yet, whenever he went into this trance, he spoke so many things against what was the accepted norms of Christianity. What all he predicted? He he predicted about the Dead Sea Scrolls. In advance, I think twelve years in advance, if I remember well, my childhood when I was a child, nineteen eighty-eight or ninety-eight. Twelve years ago, all that. In advance, he said, "A shepherd boy will find it, and if those scrolls are revealed out, if those scrolls are revealed out, it will shake the pillar of Christianity as." Well. It was found in Armenian language. Then so many people who tried. Finally, the Pope was forced to give out that manuscript or take that manuscript, and then for translation. Then it took so many decades, and all those people who were involved in the project got eliminated. I don't want to comment on it on a recording platform. So whatever, anyway, that happens with most religions. We all keep on changing little bit of our religions you know, to suit our times. You know. So, but at the case, whatever he was predicting was bang on. Many past lives reading should be, and and that is should be one of the sources of our studies, and which is what will happen. There are. Many a times, usually, uh, now this was a research conducted between two births, between two incarnations. How much is the gap? They found that it was fifteen days. This was done by University of America over some thirty thousand case studies of where people remembered their past life, and it happened for some thirty years or something. It was published in Times of India. At the same time, 
we must understand not every lifetime is a lifetime of first or uh, greatness for example the secretary of edgar casey was thomas jefferson in previous lifetime the president thomas jefferson was the president of america right old 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 yes or no yeah keep me both public so yeah me yes yes so not needed that every lifetime needs to be that you need to be great there are many lifetimes when the soul gets tired and it takes rest so don't see a simple man who has not achieved anything in life ki bhai ye aadmi kya hai kuch nahi that is the problem is us no we get very enamored with power and this and that etc and all that we get very enamored with power money simple people are so great you or great achieve so many lifetimes the soul says okay abhi aaram karte thoda body ko recover karte the soul ko recover remember your enemies as crime says your enemies are your best friends who decide to help you in your spiritual progress and say they say okay fine i'm going to become his enemy why he needs to get over he needs to get over hatred that is his life's journey life's lesson so they become your enemy they try to screw your happiness but they are only trying to teach you what let go let go but get but which lagnas have that problem especially mesh lagna or pula or mangal aspecting or placing lag are you going to say ketu in lagna detachment i have ketu in lagna so tough beta so many things i have been able to get so many things. still there are so many things i can i feel in some very small areas of that which you all can master in two seconds are you all getting it some people's life lesson can you hear me yes we can yes sir screen is frozen no no we can hear you We can, we can hear. hear you, sir. Because life lessons. can easily be found out by the planets influencing the lagna sunil ji please repeat your audio broke please repeat actually i was going to say something else and that train of thought went away that train of because i i don't script my this thing some people's life lessons what Ramana Maharishi said, "Meditate on who am I." When you go very deep into meditation, especially with the right dasha, drink dasha helps you. Drink dasha is how you calculate your dasha, spiritual power. 
Drik Dasha shows you that of how to time your meditation. But I still believe you should not use astrology for your meditation. When you go very deeper into your meditation, you will realize two things. What Ramana Maharishi was wanting us, probably, probably, I'm not right as much. We guys and nobody, even if I'm Bill Gates, I'm even if I achieve the greatest inventions, the greatest fame, I am absolutely not. Because my servant might have been an emperor. I am getting. Never ever get impressed with him. I've been lucky. Few times in life, I've had patches for months and months, but nothing impresses me. Nothing is not. Only a kind act by another human impresses me. I'm a lover of kind act. As Buddha says, every day do at least one kind act. Very important. Next in your meditation, when you reach a very high state, you will get confused. You will realize God actually made a mistake by creating us. He actually made a mistake. I have a question to ask you. Just imagine you are God. Okay? And just take 5,000 years of our history. 10,000 BC and all that may go. Just take 5,000 years. And just take the current population 7 billion. Plus in 5,000 years, how much population have been there? Each man, each man, how many tensions he goes through? How many times he remembers God? Correct? So we are actually giving tension to God. So imagine your God, you are giving so much of tension. Will you be able to bear even 0.001% of it? No. What? So, I will tell you that you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this. Correct? You know, it is like child, you know. बच्चे को छोटा बच्चे को सुबह से शाम आप देखिएगा बोलेगा बाबा मैंने क्या गड़बड़ कर दिया एस्पेशली आजकल का बच्चा वीडियो गेम एडिक्टेड एक्सेट्रा एंड ऑल दैट आई एम मेकिंग सेंस आई एम श्योरली गुड ऑफ कॉल इट अ बिग मिस्टेक ऑफ माय लाइफ एक जन को पैदा करके इतना तकलीफ होता है ये 7 बिलियन प्लस सो मेनी टाइम्स इनटू 5000 इयर्स इनटू 5000 टाइम्स हु इज गोइंग टेक दिस टेंशन समबडी इज one of my child is going to rape somebody. One of my child is going to murder somebody. One of my child is going to be a molester. One of my child is going to be a politician. This, that, etc. One of my child is going to be hungry after fame. Hungry for showing off his mental capability. Who is all that? I am just happy to be alone. Correct? Then when you go further in your progress, you will realize that we are actually God ourselves. He's just a part of his body. Out of those 70 billion cells in our body, we are like that. We are a part of him. So it's a game. It is a Ras Leela that he is playing with himself. The only thing is, he did a game where he separated them out, those cells. Those cells think they are separate. And the cell's job is to come back to the body. That's it. Now, this in theory looks brilliant. In full realization, your mind will explode. Jyotish, real journey. Is not to give a pious predictions. Those are for kids. 
दिस इज फॉर किड्स लेट द किड्स प्ले गुली डंडा खेलने दो Your journey is to understand how do I change and how do I get the strength that failing five thousand times till I will make a comeback to the path and stick to my path. One day in this life or the next or after five thousand lifetimes, will we get it right? We will get it. We may master ourselves. So when you keep on trying, with the help of astrology, you keep on working towards yourself. See, when I was young, no, <clears throat> I used to go to the washroom, look at myself, keep on combing. Even in college, you keep on combing. You always carry a comb. I think now it's fifteen, twenty years or twenty-five years. I don't carry a comb. Now that I removed the hair completely, several times I've done it. I don't need to carry a comb. You <laughs> kidding? The only thing left is wife keeps on fighting. Grow your hair back. I said I don't want anybody to look at myself. I don't look at myself. Even when I had hair, only thing in the morning after taking bath is to comb once in the day. That's about it. So you got to detach, detach, detach as much as possible. Why? So many more attachments are there. So you got to use astrology. My Ketu is in the lagna, in the first house of face. So you got to detach as much as possible. So you got to use all the nine planets. Now here's a secret I'll give before going. Key to your house of the twelve houses. There are twelve houses, so there will be twelve keys. Each house will have one key. The starting point is the opposite house, seven house. Your lagna, seventh house, is your spouse. That is your. You know what's the most difficult job to manage in life? Sanjeev Sir, you might agree. I think Ashish is there. Is the second? It is like my friend. He was telling, you know, I kept on telling my wife to eat methi seeds, put it in the water in the night time, morning, drink the water, and take the methi seeds. I kept on telling her. She said, "No, it tastes bad. I can't bear the taste." Then the wife spent seven eight thousand rupees conducting all medical tests, you know, the full body test. Then went to a dietitian, gave another ten thousand rupees. The dietitian wrote the same medicine for her meat seeds. He says, "Sala, I am saying. I am. His friends will say the same thing five years later. He will say to him." The same story, everyone. It's difficult. The ones near you, you could adjust yourself. Like that palmist, he had accepted. This is what his daughter is. Are you understanding? Seventh house will be the key for everything. For second house, it will be the eighth house. For third house, it will be the ninth house. When they combine, what is destiny? Ninth house of what you call blessings, third house of efforts. When they combine, your destiny happens. If you sit idle. And say third house is Purusha. If you sit idle, do nothing, your destiny does not happen. In your efforts, you will get some result. No? Without doing any efforts, how do you get results? Very few are lucky that way because they might have done those efforts in previous life. So let's not judge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
Any questions before we wind up for the night? I do not know what's the time. One o'clock, I think so. 144. I'll see. Uh, so I have one question that uh, from our chart, is it possible to see that we'll be able to fulfill our karmas of this life? Uh, or... Yes. Yes, it is possible. How, how is that? How do we see that? Honestly, I don't know. If you ask me an honest question, I will always try to reply. I okay. do not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But fifth Lord Kian Rao says in his book, Astrological uh, Finer Techniques of Astrology, Volume 1, in uh, what is that? Uh, Mrityu Bhaka chapter. Meenakshi Rauth has written it in that Kian Rao writes, when your spiritual uh, abilities grow, they help you burn your karma. And for seeing that, fifth and ninth house and their lords need to have a connection. Fifth and ninth lord, when they combine, it is very good. And obviously, if it is benefits, it's far better. But it's not always the case. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like now, fifth is a benefit. Okay. So ninth then we... is a natural functional thing, then fine. But it is good aspect, then fine. Sir, I want to continue to the question which Sangeeta ma'am asked regarding how whether we will fulfill the karma in this life or not. A very good if... course, a very good course by Neerat sir has launched and we had in that course of uh, past life and dasha. When it is when a dasha starts from the fifth house or a, it is connected with the fifth house and a ketu, we have left that karma in some of our past life and in this life we are here to fulfill that karma. So directly or indirectly that gives us a clue that we will fulfill our some of the past karmas in some of our life. Uski ek class abhi baaki hai sir. दो क्लासेस होने थी और एक क्लासेस में एक क्लास में ले चुका हूं और दूसरी क्लास बाकी है जो मैं आने वाले टाइम में कभी ले लूंगा अभी हमारा मैरिज भी ना रोने लगा इसलिए वो रह गई तो उसका एक पार्ट अभी बाकी है बट दैट्स अ वेरी वंडरफुल कोर्स वेरी वंडरफुल सेशन सर what was the basic rule in earlier times? And I do not know if it really works because charts like uh, Mahatma Gandhi's chart, Sri Ram's chart, now that sixth from the planet, that technique I haven't taught, but maybe you must have seen in my presentation, second or third slide that was, you know. Let me quickly share. The first thing that you all need to understand is yoga. Dasha to Atai. Ab, what is the biggest secret? Chandra is the cause of your birth. Karma Vipak Samhita says it very clear. Karma Vipak Samhita is a dialogue between Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati, where the uh, Kabutta. Each nakshatra Pata, he tells the past. Next. It is available in him. Yes. There is your Chandra. In Mahatma Gandhi's case, it is an affliction. Correct? This Chandra is afflicted by Ram. So if you think, let's assume you do not know the horoscope of Mahatma Gandhi. Do you think so he completed his karma? Tell me. He fulfilled a lot of promise from his chart girl. Sorry? 
fulfilled a lot of promise in his chart. Yes, but did he completely complete it? That I can't answer. I don't know. Sunil ji, this Gandhi chart. It is a bit question. House, tenth house is Rahu in Chandra. So normally speaking, he would not have come. But you look at it in the modern angle. In the modern angle, in olden days, you look at this chart, you'll say not completed. Why Rahu is there as it is? Chandra, all right? But if you see from the point of view of Rahu being in modern context, in foreigners and in Karka, Karka is the natural fourth house of homeland. In a way, he completed in a way, he completed. Yes, yes. Do you think Amita Bachchan completed his karma? Let us quickly look at Amita Bachchan's chart. Anybody knows the Brigu reading Amita Bachchan for Amita Bachchan's chart? Brigu reading for Mahatma Gandhi's chart. Okay. Okay. Before Chulu, Mahatma Gandhi's chart, Satya Samita or Satya Charya. B.B. Raman quotes that to uh, his daughter Gaitri Bhimi Vasudev. It is there in the article. It writes, 66th year, a significant event will happen in his life or something like that, which will change. Okay. It talks about a person whose father had two wives, etc. and all that. Okay. Many, many things that reading is there in the Nadi reading. Uh, B.B. Raman Sahib quotes. One of them, he says, there is no difference in this man's thought, deed, and actions. So tough to achieve. So tough to achieve in this life. That's a yogi. It's a yogi's combination even Yes, sir. There is no difference in this person's three personalities. Thought, deeds, and actions. Even then the other part of the reading. Even after being married, okay, this person will lead a vairagya life. Which was also the case. He has the famous combination that came from also Mars. Venus Mars together. And that being Lagna, both of them. We all know the struggles Mahatma Gandhi went to control himself. Very highly sexual he was. When his father was dying, he was having sex with his wife. He's written that in his book. And that's to write that. My favorite song. Kunsa picture tha Munna Bhai and BBS Mo Munna Bhai Lagero. The director, I'm forgetting his name now. Rajkumar. 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 Three idiots. What dialogues in that? My ex-boss, Javed Jafri, that was seen with the other, that is house in that. Ranchur Das. Chanchur Das. Chamal or whatever. And then he says, लेकिन बोलता था यार मेरे से एक दिन दो इडियट आए क्या डायलॉग है तभी क्या करो दिस आर द ग्रेट मोमेंट्स ऑफ योर लाइफ यू लुक एट ऑल दिस इन महात्मा गांधी सॉरी द सत्य समिता रीडिंग 
again says he will use fasting as a weapon. Now, if I remember this well, I can be wrong. I have it written over there. Amitabh Bachchan saw this quote. Brashta Yogi. Brashta Yogi. Means he had achieved the great heights. Ek galti yogi. And sadhana became incomplete. Are you all getting it? If I remember well, Amitabh Bachchan is 10th Lord in the 8th house. Yes, sir. That is when from past life sadhana is incomplete. So some of the past life readings I got also, when what I knew astrologically, what happened in my past life. And when I got those readings from two people, one is a yogi. He also said my sadhana is incomplete. So you can't interpret 10th tenth Lord in it with Rahu in the This will show where his karma was. Then you have to ask the question. Did he complete the test? Did he pass the test? Some will say no. Or many will say no. Are you all understanding? Yes, sir. Is your Keshat Muja or Kakombination? The mm, There was one more thing when I had gone to the washroom. I want to say about when you see something about this thing, marriage of this thing, you have to see Shukra also, I forget it. It was a great combination. Anyway, Jupiter and Shukra placements with each other, 6 8 to each other, 2 12 to each other. It shows you past life, it was the same wife. You know? Jupiter mass, same husband you had in the previous life. There are many combinations of that. So you have to combine everything, everything, everything. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think no other questions left from anybody. So we'll wind up the day. I This is breaking. Sir, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. The voice went out for some time. Yes, yes. We can hear you. Okay. So anyway, uh, thank Excuse you so me, much. Sir. Excuse I... me, sir. Uh, sir uh... All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Many have appreciated the session in the oh, chat. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, really. Thank you.